Hello everybody, it is Michael Brownstein with the Food and Wine Life channel and I'm here with the beautiful Eva Clay and today she is going to be making Klopshiki Polish meatballs in creamy dill sauce with mashed potato pancakes and carrot cosmo. It's a mouthful but it's very Polish and it's delicious. So let's get into it. So for our mashed potato pancakes, we'll use mashed potatoes with some sour cream and butter, breadcrumbs, we'll saute the onion with a little bit of butter. Uh, we have flour, egg, and the oil for frying. For our meatballs, we'll use ground beef and saline ground beef. We have dill, bay leaf and peppercorns, sour cream, egg, chopped onion, flour, beef broth, and a little bit of soaked bread. For our vegetable salad, today we are making carrot coleslaw. We have carrots, apples, lemon, salt and pepper, mayonnaise, and sour cream. Very simple. Let's do it. So to make our carrot coleslaw is very simple. This is very handy, but if you don't have one of those, you can grate it by hand. I did it most of my life. So to speed up the process, we'll just use our food processor. So we've got everything shredded and we'll take all this out. Okay. We'll take out our carrots and apples. This is really healthy salad. There's millions of variations in Poland of this salad. And uh, you can substitute olive oil instead of mayonnaise sour cream, if you like, for a little bit healthier option. It will be as delicious. And then we'll squeeze a little bit of lemon. Okay. We'll add salt and pepper to taste. To your liking. And a little bit of sugar. Sugar is important in the salad because it will help the carrot wilt and it will bring the sweetness of the carrot and uh, it will be delicious. So we'll put sour cream and a little bit of mayonnaise and we'll stir it up. Very simple. Okay. It will uh, need about an hour in the refrigerator. So that will buy you time to start working on the rest of your meal. And we'll be right back. So now we'll be cooking the meatballs. First, we'll start with warming up the broth. We have two cups of beef broth. Okay. We'll bring that to a bowl with a couple of bay leaves and peppercorns just for now. And we'll go back and we'll make our meatballs. So for our meatballs, We'll use ground beef. We'll squeeze all the liquid out of the bread. And usually for one pound of beef, I, I'll use about one slice of any bread you have. So we have that. We'll use one egg, about a half of small chopped onion, and a little bit of pepper and salt to taste. Okay. That looks about right. And then we'll just put it all together until smooth consistency. 
and then we'll form the meatball. So our meat is all combined with all the seasoning and onions and bread. It's smooth consistency. And now we'll form the meatballs. And you can make them smaller, you can make them bigger. I like about two biters or maybe three. So this is about the size I, I like to make them. And, uh, and if your hands are sticky, you can always use the water. And they don't have to be perfect. They have to be around the same size. So we have our meatballs made and we'll drop them in a little bit of um, beef broth and we'll cook them through and then we probably will add another two cups of beef broth or you can add water as you like but if you add water you need to add a little bit more um salt and pepper so i'll be right back while we're boiling the meatballs we'll start working on the potatoes so first we'll add a little bit of butter about a tablespoon or maybe a little less and we'll saute little onions with that until they are translucent. So we're caramelizing the onions and we're waiting for them to get translucent while we're waiting for our meatballs to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. So while we're waiting on the meatballs, we're ready to put our potatoes together. And first, we'll add some sauteed onions that we already sauteed and cooled a little bit so they're not hot. Okay. Then we'll add potatoes to this. As, as you see, the consistency of the potatoes, they are not too mushy. You don't want them to be too mushy. We'll add our flour. About half a uh, quarter, uh, no, it's about one third of a cup. One egg. Some salt to taste. Because potatoes take a lot of salt. And then we'll add some cracked pepper. And I like fresh cracked pepper in this recipe. So we're going to form the little potato pancakes. We made it, we combined everything into a dough. And then we'll take a little bit. Again, we'll make a little, like a meatball, a little bit bigger meatball than the ones that you saw. Probably about three ounces, maybe four. And then we'll drop them in into the breadcrumbs. Coat them really good, each and every side. And we'll repeat the process until we make all of them. So we're making our potato pancakes and they smell delicious. It's been a, such a long time since I made those. So I can't wait to dig in. Very traditional Polish dinner. So we're getting ready to fry our potato pancakes. We'll put them in the hot oil. And fry them on the medium until they they are golden brown so we are going to finish up our sauce and it's very simple we'll take about half a cup of water we'll put a tablespoon of flour our sour cream and we'll mix it together until smooth and And we have no lumps. That's very quick. That will make us a very light little gravy. Okay. And then we'll temper the gravy. So we'll take our handy dandy ladle and add a little bit of sauce 
into our mixture. A little bit at the time, so it doesn't curdle. Okay, it's getting warmer in our container, so that's a good sign. So I can put a bigger one. Okay. And slowly and gently, we'll add to the rest of the pot. And we'll bring it to the boil. Okay, so let's check on our potato pancakes. I think they're beautiful golden brown color. They're doing great. We're going to turn them over on the other side and cook them for a few more minutes. So it looks like our sauce is nice and thick and ready. And we'll add our dill, freshly chopped dill to it to flavor the sauce. And we'll add more seasoning to taste. And our potato pancakes are finishing up. So we'll plate them and we'll be right back. And we're back. And that beautiful Miss Eva has cooked and plated this Polish dinner up. So let's get into it. I'm really excited because this is a very traditional Polish dinner, middle of the week dinner. And as you can see in Pond, we eat a lot of coleslaws, fresh veggies with our meals. Um, unlike here in US where the fresh veggies basically um, salad most of the time. Right. So uh, I, I hope you all will try this recipe at home, especially um, the low uh, fresh veggie coleslaws, which are called in Poland sawatka. They're very popular. Yeah, this, this looks amazing. Uh, the meatballs, the potato pancakes, and the uh, carrot coleslaw. And she put a lot of effort into this, so I'm excited to give it a try. All right, let's do it. Well, the potato camp pancake is amazing. You can just mm -hmm. eat them by themselves without anything, just to just eat them. They're real. Let me try the slaw now. Very good. That is a very good, quick, easy um, dinner especially if you have leftover mashed potatoes those little potato pancakes are delicious what do you think mike can good. you live in poland mm -hmm. <laughs> the meatball is very good is. and not only is she beautiful she's an amazing cook so thank you and anyway so she she outdid herself as usual and uh ain't nothing i can say but she did an amazing job and Great meal, and I'm probably going on a diet after this one. <laughs> well, it is. It's a hearty meal, meat and potatoes, and a little vegetable on the side. So having said that, we'll let you all go. And smacznego i na zdrowie. Cheers. Till next time. Do zobaczenia.